If you're watching this, that means I've met Riley Sager. never heard of Riley Sager before, let me introduce you. So he has wrote seven books. He just released his seventh book, which is called The Only One Left, which is actually why I'm going to go meet him. His other books include Final Girls, The Last Time I Lied, Lock Every Door, Home Before Dark, Survive the Night, The House Across the Lake, and then finally The Only One Left. He is my favorite author of all time across all genres and I have been wanting to meet him for so long and I finally just bit the bullet and did it because he does not come anywhere near me personally he he always comes to states like that are out of my distance but I, I you know I'm on summer vacation and I decided that we're gonna go take a trip up there and meet him also if you're not aware Riley Sager is a very big Taylor Swift fan and so I really wanted to get him something as like a token of my gratitude towards his existence <laughs> so I decided that I was going to make him a Taylor Swift friendship bracelet and I was going to make myself one to match and let me tell you I've been working on it for quite some time and it's not as easy as it looks I'm almost finished with it it's just like a matter of tying it together so i'm hoping that i can get that figured out i had to take a break from it because i was about to like throw it across the room but i i have got it together and i will show you the process of making it now So let me kind of explain the method to my madness here. I've got Nobody No Crime is the song that I'm putting on the bracelet. So Nobody No Crime is the quote that he used in the front of The House Across the Lake. So he used, he quoted that song in the beginning of that book. And so here's the colors that I've got so far. And I promise you there's a reason that I'm using these colors. So these are the colors of all of his books in publication order. So we've got red for Final Girls, blue for The Last Time I Lied, pink for Lock Every Door, green, Home Before Dark, blue and orange for Survive the Night, The House Across the Lake, and lastly, the only one left. So I'm going to make him one and I'm going to make myself one. So yeah, that's what we've got going on. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my little montage of making his bracelet. I really love it and I hope that he loves it too. So we're actually heading to Pennsylvania and I'm in Tennessee. So that's a good eight hour drive. So I'm waiting on my husband to get home. My brother and I and my husband are all going and we're spending the night up there and we're going to go meet Riley Sager. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Can you tell? Can you tell I'm excited? Okay, let's go.
today's the day. Oh my gosh, today's the day. Look at me sporting my Riley Sager friendship bracelet. So I am back at the hotel now. Obviously, I took you along with me this morning to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And if you live in the States, that is where the Liberty Bell is. And, and that is also where the Independence Hall is, where the declaration was signed. So that was so freaking cool. Me and my brother had a blast. Unfortunately, my husband did not feel too good, so he had to stay in the hotel. But we still had a pretty good time. I hate that he couldn't go with us, though. But, so we're back at the hotel. Um, my brother and my husband went to go get us some food. And so it's like 5 o'clock now, and... I'm almost ready. I'm so excited. The event starts at 7. So I'm probably going to get there a little bit early because the bookstore is like 10 minutes from us. But yeah, I'm a little nervous, um, but not really. I'm more so excited because, like, again, he's my favorite author <laughs> of all time. Like, I've met other authors before, but never to this extent. Like, I drove eight and a half hours to meet this guy. So, yeah, he's pretty big deal. Thank you for joining us this evening. We're happy you're here. We hope you enjoy tonight's program with not one, but two number one New York Times bestselling authors, Riley Sager and Ruth Ware. <laughs> Delighted and honored to welcome Ruth Ware and Riley Sager at Harrisburg. So without further ado, please join me giving them a warm applause. <laughs> Jack is not that type of person. She is someone to be impulsive. She's also someone who has a bad history with the police, and she makes the decision to go on the run and try to solve Gaines murder. Very good. And it, it, it reads like a bullet train, basically. <laughs> it was great fun to write, but as I imagine, was the only one left. And so I learned to just be more flexible. So I know what the twist is going. I know how it's going to end. And then, you know, it's just day by day, just plugging away. Like, I start off, and some people like dive in like, okay, 1,500 words today. I can't do that. It's like, 100 words today, and then 200 words tomorrow. And then you sort of build up steam. And then like by the end, you know, like the last 100 pages of the book, I can't write like two weeks because you're just rolling down the other
Oh, oh, so much. Yeah, actually, the reason this one's reading. What? Oh, <laughs> that's so <laughs> lovely. <laughs> In Houston, like they gave me some too, but no, I will play. Thank you. I, 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 oh, the mirror besties. And they're all so beautiful. Oh my god, that's so cool. That is, that is awesome. Thank that's you. So Hello. I'm home. Forgive the messy pony, we're just kinda vibing today. Anyway, hi! So yeah, I had the best time of my life the past couple of days. I don't think you guys understand. I don't think you understand. I feel like I am still coming down from cloud nine. So let me take you through like all that this video entailed as well as all the juicy details that I know you guys want. So I think I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but I am in Tennessee and the event was in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, which is about an eight and a half hour drive from me. <laughs> it, that was a long, that was a long drive. That was a long drive. So we ended up leaving on Monday night, my husband's choice. I wouldn't have left that night, but he was the one driving. So I figured that whatever makes him comfortable, that's fine. <laughs> Um, so we ended up leaving that night and we didn't get to Harrisburg until four o'clock in the morning on Tuesday morning. So that Tuesday morning we woke up and my husband was not feeling the greatest. I'm not sure what was going on with him. Um, but my brother and I decided to solo trip a drive to Philadelphia, which from Harrisburg to Philadelphia, it's about an hour and a half. So... We took the trek. I'm not used to driving in big cities. Again, I live in a small town in Tennessee, so I'm not I'm not super comfortable with big cities. And but I did it. I I survived it. I survived it. They definitely do things different than we do down here. So we got to Philadelphia, and if you live in the states or even if you don't, I'm I'm not sure what you know about US history, but basically Philadelphia is a huge historical site um, that was basically where this country was founded. It was a huge place where the country's freedom started. The declaration was signed there. It was the nation's first capital. It was, it's a huge city. So obviously there are some huge historical sites in Philadelphia. We saw Independence Hall where the declaration was signed and we saw the Liberty Bell, which is also a huge symbol for freedom of our country. And those two alone were the coolest things ever. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe that we actually got to see them in person. And then we walked down the street to the Betsy Ross house. So if you're not aware of who Betsy Ross is, Betsy Ross was the woman who created the first flag of the United States. So we actually got to see where her house was 
and kind of see where the first flag was made. I think that there was a lot more that we didn't get to see, but again, we were kind of pressed on time because on Tuesday was the event and we had to be back by at least six. So fast forward to when we get to the bookstore, we had a standing room only ticket which basically the general admission tickets got to sit down and the standing room only were the people who literally just filled in the gaps. Like you, you got whatever room was left, um, which I didn't mind again, as long as I got to hear him talk and hear him discuss his new book, I was fine. <laughs> and I failed to mention that he was accompanied by Ruth Ware, which is also another huge author for me. I love Ruth Ware. I've actually already met her. I met her in Nashville uh, about a year or so ago, but she just released a book as well and it's called Zero Days and they released them at the same time. So I think that they were mostly just having a conversation. It wasn't really centered towards just Riley's book. It was more so, hey, here's my new book and here's my new book. And they were just kind of conversating back and forth. The discussion was immaculate. I enjoyed my time there so, so much. I think it was really cool that even though it is Riley's tour, that he kind of stepped back a little bit and gave Ruth a spotlight as well. So it wasn't like one or the other. It it was, here's us both, here's our books, and here's why you should read them. So after the discussion, they had a personalization line where you could actually meet both authors and get them to personalize your books. And I think I underestimated the amount of people that were going to show up to this event because we were in line for three hours. Yeah, three hours. But again, I would do anything for this man. I drove eight and a half hours. I'm going to I'm gonna stand in line and meet him, okay? I'm going to meet him. I would have stayed there the rest of the night if it meant that I could meet him. <laughs> so basically, we waited in line for that long. And then when we finally got up to meet him, we were sort of in the back. So honestly, I felt like we weren't as rushed because everybody else had already gone and we were kind of the last people left. We weren't the last ones, but we were, we were pretty close. So I felt like w in a way we had a little bit more time with them, which I guess is a pro for waiting that long in line. Let me tell you guys, two of the sweetest, most kind people in my entire life that I've ever met. I cannot believe that after three hours, I mean, that whole time they were talking and meeting people and Honestly, I feel like you would have at least seen it on their face that they were getting tired. <laughs> no, no, they, they acted like they'd just started when we got up there. They were the kindest human beings I've ever met. So as you saw in the clip, I basically approached them and I said, hey, you guys are the two authors that really got me into reading and which is completely and utterly true. They were two authors that truly got me into reading and reading the mystery thriller genre. And I don't know if you guys saw it in the video, but when I said that, Riley's face was the most, the most precious expression that I've ever seen. If you missed that, you need to go back and look at it because his face was like, oh. <laughs> And then I went into um, telling him about my friendship bracelet. So like in the beginning of the video, I made myself a friendship bracelet and I made him one as well. I made him the same one. And all of the colors are colors of his books. And so I handed him his bracelet and I said, okay, just gonna be honest. I thought this was gonna be original idea. I didn't think anybody else would think about this like giving you a friendship bracelet. And he had like a pile of friendship bracelets already next to him. And I was like, well, I thought it was my original idea. And then I, I saw that you got them on your first night. And then I saw that you have like 87 sitting there. <laughs> and he started laughing and he said, no. He, and he reached out his hand to, towards me to like put it on and he put mine on. And mine was the only one he was wearing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and he's and I said, well, all the colors are like colors of your books. And he's like, what? That's so amazing. And he was just so grateful that I guess this gesture was so sweet to him. And I 
I loved his reaction. I loved his reaction so much. I did not catch it on film, but he was like, I just want you to know that I'm going to cherish this forever. And I said, well, I made myself one too. So, I mean, I guess we're like basically besties. And he was like, oh, we are besties. <sighs> Best day of my life. And we were about, we were getting ready to go. Like he talked to me and then he talked to my brother. And then we were getting ready to go. And he said, okay, you guys be safe. Like wherever you came from. And I said, yeah, um, we've got a pretty long drive back to Tennessee. And he goes, What? Like he, could, he couldn't fathom the idea that we came all the way from Tennessee. And I said, I looked him dead in the eye and I said, listen, I don't think you understand what I would do for you. <laughs> and then the next day I showed you where we stopped at Hershey's, the Hershey's Chocolate Factory in Pennsylvania. We obviously had to stop there because you can't go to Pennsylvania without visiting Hershey's. So let me show you all of the books that I had them sign. I had tabbed one of them and he was like, did you enjoy this one? And I was like, I don't think you understand how much I enjoy your books. Okay, so starting with Ruth Ware, um, like I said, I'd met her before. So she's already signed a good chunk of my books. I brought The Turn of the Key by her to have her sign. And Ruth Ware always personalizes her books when she signs them. I don't know if she's supposed to, but she does. So she actually wrote to Hannah, Ruth Ware. This is a great one if you've not picked this one up. And then another one, The Lion Game. And again, she wrote to Hannah, Ruth Ware. So her new book is actually called Zero Days. And I'm loving this holographic design are you kidding me this is the one that she actually personalized for me and she wrote to hannah so great to meet you ruth ware and when she was actually signing this i said well i've i've met you in nashville before and she's like, ah oh, shoot i should have wrote so great to meet you again <laughs> but that's okay i thought that was a really sweet message now the riley books so of course i had to bring my two favorite books by him so my first favorite book by him that I've ever read is Lock Every Door. This is my favorite book that he's ever written because the twist in here, I'm sorry, what? So he signed this one. He just wrote his name. And then I had to bring Home Before Dark. I loved this one. This is my second favorite that he's wrote. And this is actually the one that I tabbed. And he was like, did you enjoy that one? I said, yeah, I had a really good time. I had a really good time. And there is his signature again. Okay. And then the only one left. I am mm, obsessed with this cover. I think this might be his best cover by far, but let me show you guys what he put in here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna start crying again. It says, to Hannah, my best Swifty buddy, Riley Sager. I have a lot of titles, but Riley Sager's best Swifty buddy is by far my favorite. Okay, friends, that is my trip where I met Riley Sager. And I met Ruth Ware for the second time. But again, this was a dream come true for me. I enjoyed every minute of it. The actual meeting part where I got to meet him face to face and actually talk to him and pick his brain a little bit was by far the my favorite thing that happened on this trip. I'm gonna be on cloud nine for a little bit because I had such a good time. He's just the sweetest kind of soul and so is Ruth Ware. And I'm definitely picking up the only one left like right after this video. If you've been it this far into the video, please leave me a rock emoji <laughs> for the only one left because we are so excited about this cliffside manor, okay? Okay. If you've been it this far into the video, please leave me a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around. Please don't forget to come over and visit me on Instagram. I post daily on my stories over there. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I met my favorite author. I will see you in my next video, my friends. Bye!